Hi guys, my name is Inkri Gavina and this is Interesting Random Facts Academy History and today we're going to talk about the 1962 World Cup specifically about how did Brazil won the World Cup without their best player? How did they won the World Cup without Pele? Which, you know... Uh, they won without Pele Right, here, this pillow shirt, very cheap, and I didn't write a take, so I already took it off. It's just a name shirt. It's just a name shirt. So, how did they want the World Cup without Pele? That's what we're gonna talk about. But before we get started, did you see the button? Yeah, the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button because after you click the subscribe button, you're gonna be a new subscriber to interesting. Random Facts Academy and also don't forget to turn on the bell button because it allows you to be notified when I post a new video for this channel and well without further ado let's begin since the last two World Cups were hosted in Europe it was time for the Americas to host the tournament on July 10 1956 Chile was chosen to be the host of the 1962 World Cup by receiving 32 votes against 10 votes for Argentina. Brazil, as the former last champions, had almost the same team that they had in 1958, with exception for coach Feola and some other players. For this new Brazilian team, there were some new players, like Amarildo, and Coutinho. No, not this Coutinho. That's Todinho, Pele's father. There we go. Now, getting to talk about the games. In the group stage, Brazil and Pele show once again their power by beating Mexico 2-0. But in the second game against Czechoslovakia, an incident happened. Pele received a heavy injury on his left groin that would cut him out of the World Cup and the game ended in a 0-0 for both teams. Without their best player, many Brazilians thought, can we win the World Cup without Pele? The sub for Pele was now with the young Amarildo. In the third game against Spain, Amarildo showed that he was a capable sub for Pele by scoring two goals. Brazil was once again qualified for the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Brazil won their game against England with two goals scored by Mane Garrincha and one by Vava. In the semifinals against Chile, Brazil won by 4-2 with two goals scored by Mane Garrincha and the other two scored once again by Vava. Brazil was once again in the final. Talk about the day of the final. Brazil was going for the second World Cup title against Czechoslovakia. The only team that Brazil wasn't capable of winning in that World Cup edition so far. Like the 1958 World Cup, Brazil started behind on the scoreboard when Masopust scored 1-0 Czechoslovakia. But Amarildo, the one who sub Pele scored a beautiful no-angle goal and tied the game for Brazil. In the second half, Amarildo, Cross and Zito score 2-1 Brazil. Later in the game, Vava score another goal for Brazil, making the score 3-1. The game was over with Brazil winning their second World Cup title. Since that year, and today, no other country was able to pass Brazil on the number of World Cup trophies.